Are you looking for some kick-ass anime or geeky merchandise to really flex your favourite series and style? With original art and great quality clothing at unbeatable prices? Check out pampling.com for all your merch needs and use code OPFANYT to receive a free pair of socks of your choice with every order. Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching episode 1 of Rust Eater Bisco or uh, to be fair i don't even know the japanese name to be fair i can't even pronounce it um yeah very much looking forward to this anime uh of what i've from what i've seen of the trailer and kind of the synopsis of it uh it seems promising so uh, hopefully it is uh, it's the first anime <coughs> the first anime by this uh studio and um, so it seems to be a new studio i like the look of it uh main guy kind of reminds me of um natsu from fairy tale um but i've got high hopes for it so we'll see how it goes with episode one and yeah, as always guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now. Holy shit, what the fuck? Well, okay, that's one way to start things. Sabi Kui Bisco. Probably butchered how I said that. There's just rust everywhere. <laughs> this is a giant dog. Yo. Hippos? Wow. <laughs> oh, is this... Is this him? Akaboshi Bisco. He cast it off. Hmm, I wonder why. This world is already so interesting. I love post-apocalyptic kind of settings. They're really cool. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? They might just come through. Wait, what? Isn't scary if we all go together? Oh, Jesus. What the fuck is going on here? Lizard! The rusting. I saw the person who was like preaching right there had rust on their face. This is some kind of disease. Tetsujin. What the hell's a Tetsujin? Was it like a bomb or what? <laughs> it's just a vaccination. <laughs> oh wow. What's on this dude's face? Oh, is it makeup? Ugh, what a shit world, world to live in. Dr. Panda. Is this like a birthmark or something? So what are these mushrooms? What do they do like? Is it just drugs? <laughs> Who is this woman speaking to anyway? She's just speaking to all the girls and hoping that they're listening. So is this doctor's clinic like set up in a brothel it looks like? <laughs> This guy's popular. Oh, This dude's a kind person. Oh, was he talking about the mushrooms? Is it drugs or is it like maybe he's giving it to his sister or something? Oh, This guy's a really good dude. Mushroom terrorism. What are they used for apart from like that like what are they? I thought they were just drugs. Ooh, who's this character? Hello. Oh, this is Pau. That's a lot of mushrooms. Holy shit. Are these all like illegal mushrooms? Are all mushrooms illegal? Like what is it? Or is he using all the mushrooms and stuff to Try and make new medicine, maybe? No matter what the ingredient is. Yeah. Oh, you're going to piss this dude off, bro. <laughs> oh, really? Interesting. I ever feel like there's something like about these mushrooms or the mushroom keepers that they're not as actually bad as people think they are. Has he not clocked on the fact that he's got a bow on his back? Wait, the, what the fuck is going on here? What just happened? I like blinked. What the hell just happened? 
Nothing. Oh. This feels like the, the kind of show that where I need to kind of, I definitely need to pay attention. Otherwise, I'm going to miss out on some informa information. Akaboshi. <laughs> you might just meet him straight up, bro. Oh, what's this kid going to do? Oh, dude, you didn't need to do that to him, like. Wait, is it a woman? Oh, okay. I was going to say, it's, a, it's like a male voice actor. Is that why he chased after him? Oh, this is a really good guy. Bro. This is like a saint. He's probably too good for this world. Don't you hurt him. Do not hurt him. Oh, this is the governor. Ooh. Where did all those guys in the body masks go? This dude's a fucking weirdo. It's like a scumbag, like, mafia governor. He only cares about himself and his people. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell? Is it a mound of corpses? <laughs> he just doesn't want him to look at whatever it is. Has he just saw the bow? How's he only just saw it? He could, like, see it sticking over his back. Oh, oh, you've got caught now. What the hell makes these mushrooms grow from the arrows? What? Bro, this song is fucking sick. Let's go. So does the mushrooms actually cause the rust? Or is it something else? Is he after him? Mushroom terrorism. <laughs> this feels like mushroom terrorism. It feels like something out of like a like a like a studio trigger or something like that. Bro, this woman is hot. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. God damn that waistline. <laughs> Except she's very clearly a lot stronger than you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's just claimed a bunch of mushrooms. Oh, fuck. How did you get in here? Bro, this guy's got a cool character design. The man worth 800,000. All right, so that was Rust Eater Bisco episode one. Um, very kind of wacky uh, storyline, but I'm loving it so far. Very, It feels very original and kind of new. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen anything like this before. Like I was saying, it gave me the, 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 it's just, I don't know, mushroom terrorism. The idea of it just, it reminded me of kind of a studio trigger plotline or something like that. It was very interesting. Um, a lot of mystery behind the show so far, and it's definitely got a plot that draws you in, I, I would, I would say. Um, yeah, and I'm very excited for the next episodes to come. Um, that's all I really have to say guys and that is that anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I certainly did and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction thank you guys so much for watching have a nice rest of your day and peace out